What's up, children of the sun? This is your metaphysical advisor, Montre Bible. Why am I frustrated? Because I made a whole video for you guys. And it deleted. Deleted. Completely deleted. I accidentally deleted it. It was my fault, but I accidentally deleted it. Because I'm trying to watch YouTube at the same time as I'm uploading videos. And for some reason, YouTube doesn't know when I'm removing something from my queue or deleting a video. I didn't know there was a million ways to delete videos. But anyways. Maybe the universe didn't want you to have that message. Anyways, for some of you Leos, you're gonna have some relationship issues in the month of August. Get ready for it. It's not gonna be the end of the world though. But we'll see if this reading is gonna be the same or something different. So maybe something different. Maybe the universe wants you guys to have a different message. Anyways, tired of being frustrated. <laughs> it took me the longest just to upload that video. <sighs> Anywho. <sighs> it is Leo season. Happy birthday, Leos. August is a universal month three, and it means communicating, communicate, talk, speak, socialize. I think it's going to be pretty hard to keep your mind to yourself in the month of August. Everybody's going to be communicating something. Also socializing too. Social, social life is going to be a big thing for the uh, month of August. Let's check these cards out, see what these cards have to say. This is for, this is a general reading for uh, Sun rising in moon signs if you have those signs leo in your sun your rising sign or your moon sign okay remember it's a general read all right so check your rising sign if it doesn't quite make sense to you also hit that like button give me a like because i'm I need some help guys <laughs> and subscribe to my videos okay leo sun moon and rising they're jumping Let's see what message it has for the month of August for you guys this time. If it's see if it's something similar. Sun, moon, and rising. I'm gonna do it one more time. Ooh. We got some major arcana cards. The sun and the moon are in this one. So Leo, um, you have the Ten of Pentacles uh, and it's reversed. That means that Something in regards to your legacy, something that you've been trying to build. You're almost there. There's some things that are in the way. So you have some blockages. Um, between getting to this end game, you know, you are in the end game. Uh, I think you, especially because this is your birthday time, you are having this um, conclusion. You're coming to this conclusion of things. The Ten of Pentacles, though, is reversed. It means that there's some stuff that's standing in your way of building your 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 legacy your money um something that you value you have the moon card it's reversed something that you value is coming into play okay um your emotions and this kind of popped up in your last reading you're, there's something that you need to reveal about yourself there's something that uh is being revealed about yourself about how you feel about something something that was once hidden is now coming to light um I think there is a little bit of sadness with the Sun card. Something that's kind of stressing you out right now. Uh, the Sun card is reversed in, in the house of your mind. So you're thinking about things. I see that something is kind of stressing you out. We got the uh, Ten. The Ten of Wands. Really stressed out. Maybe in regards to something with your home or your family. Or somebody really close to you. Let's see what else we got going on here. Some of the same cards. In regards to your romantic life, um, there is something that you have the death card and it's reverse. And there's something that you're sad about that doesn't want to end. You may be, like I said, that maybe you had some falling out with somebody, but the death card is reversed. So it's, it's saying something doesn't want to end in regards to... Um, a romantic or romantic partner. You have the fool card in the sixth position of, of commitment. Things that you have feel responsible for. A new beginning. I feel like you're trying to start a new beginning with somebody. Uh, this person, maybe the person you're dealing with, with the um, page of wands could be a younger person. They may be hesitant about starting a new beginning. Uh, they might be slightly just thinking about themselves at this time, turning their back on you a little bit. And this might be stressing you out, but I feel like I feel like you want to take this chance with this person. 
for some of you, this could be somebody that you have a long commitment with. Uh, for others, it seems like they're, this is somebody that you, you want to be with or this person wants to be with you. Uh, we have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands. And it's reversed. So this could be somebody that you could be happy with or this person used to be happy with you. But there seems to be some problems. They seem to have turned their back. They don't want to start. But you want to take this chance. Or they want to take it. Maybe they want to take a chance on you. Something is stuck about this relationship they see you they see you as one who's trying to make a decision trying to decide being really focused i think you have a lot of options going on like you're not thinking with your heart you're thinking with your mind but you seem to be really stressed out about a situation that's not moving forward or it seems to be stuck trying to decide if you want this person in your life Something is not fulfilled. You have the wish fulfillment card and it's reversed. Something's, somebody's not feeling happy. What else do I see? The page of cups reversed. Not feeling loved. Someone not taking a chance on love. Not wanting to start something new. The page of cups. But there is love there. With the queen of cups reversed. I mean, the queen of cups is behind it. I feel like you're overthinking things. You also have the Hermit card. The Hermit card is, uh, let me get that light off of my cards. The Hermit card is reversed. This is overthinking a situation. Hmm. Let me get some clarity on, your, on you. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. This is something that you you feel you have this conquering spirit. There's some things that are in your way. Um, with the six of staffs, there's, you want to win. Now, clarify the page of wands. Okay, this person you're dealing with somebody who's hard to work with. So this could be a job situation or this could be, if it's a relationship, that this person could be a third person or a third party. So if you have a relationship with this person, this could either be a third party person, like an extra person, or this could be the person you're dealing with and they, uh, they, don't want to start something new with you because you either have somebody else or they have somebody else. Clarify the moon card reverse. Ooh, the Ten of Pentacles. This is somebody you kind of see yourself with on the long term, but there's a lot of problems. You can see yourself with the long term with this person. You really feel this person. You feel the emotions, but there's some hidden things. The Ten of Staffs reverse. There's some things that you need to let go of. You need to release. And this is what's causing your sadness. You need to let go of some things. Clarify that 10. You're holding on to a lot of baggage. Page of coins, reverse. You're holding on to some past person maybe. I think I see three people. You're holding on to too much. You got the page of coins there. Someone who you can't see yourself with. And you're still holding on to them though. And you want to win. Somebody You, you have long-term potential with one of these people. Clarify the death card. Something that's not dying and you don't want to let go of. Sadness. Three of swords. So we have death card and three of swords. This could be a past... Uh, something that happened in the past, a transformation that you had in the past, uh, an ending that you had in the past, or something that you're not willing to let go of, and it's still making you sad. Clarify the full card. 
being focused. You're focused on one person and you can see yourself starting a beginning with somebody. But there's still somebody there. I want some clarity on that person. On your person, seventh house. Not working. Someone's turning their back on you. But they're grateful. They're grateful for you. Clarify the page of wands. Clarify the page of wands. They feel fortunate to have you in their life, but something's not starting. There's too many people. This person feels blessed to have you around. Clarify the four of wands. But there's still some imbalance. <sighs> Something's gonna take a lot of time. Four of Wands and the Temperance card. Um, there's like this slight impatience. I feel like there's some impatience, some imbalance between the two of you before you two can be happy together. Something's stuck. Something's taking a long time. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. It's not over yet. Clarify the two. They see you as somebody who's making a decision. Trying to decide if you're going to reveal your emotions to somebody with the two. Trying to decide if you're going to reveal your emotions. They feel like something's hidden. You're thinking with your mind, though. You're very focused. Clarify the king of swords. There's something missing in your life. The King of Swords and the Five of Coins. Something missing in your life. Something feeling the need, feeling lack of something. But very focused on getting what you want. Clarifying the Seven of Cups. Looking at your options. Something that's hidden from you. Um, needing to work on yourself. Clarify the nine and the outcome. You have your guard up in regards to something about getting what you want. You don't have what you want yet. Two nines. Hmm. This is about overdoing things, protecting yourself. Could be an overindulgence. Clarify the outcome for me, please. I'm pulling a lot of cards for you, Leo. The Fixer. There is a problem. You want to win. You need to let go of some things. And this was kind of in your last reading, too. So, there's some emotional stuff that you're holding on to. It could be in regards to another person. For some of you, there's too many people involved. One of this person's, they, they love you. They feel blessed to have you around. But something's out of balance. Like they can't, they don't have this connection with you right now. Or it's taking a while. They're healing. They're taking time to heal. Yeah. They're taking time to heal themselves. Ugh. Which one do I want to clarify? Clarify the 12th house. Wow. You are asked to, you're being asked, Leo, to get really spiritual with yourself. You have the master card in the 12th house. This is to Christ consciousness, working on yourself, um, going within to see your options, to see how blessed you are. This person feels blessed to have you around. It's just that the relationship or the connection needs some healing. Because you have the healer card, the temperance card. There, there's a need for healing in this relationship and this connection. It's not over. Something's not completed. It's just stuck. You and this relationship is stuck. This is somebody you could spend a long term with. Clarify the tennis. 
Now clarify the page of coins. Yeah, we're planning. This is about expanding yourself. Okay? If you have this... It's like the world card. This is like the world card. You're really stressed out. about the potential of this relationship. I think you're overthinking things about the potential of this, of this relationship. This this is about to open your world up. This person is opening your world up. Clarify the three of swords. Maybe this person walked out this year. The death card, the three of swords, and the seer. This is about trusting your intuition. If you had somebody who wanted to get out of the relationship or the connection, it's not quite over because the death card is reversed with you two. And this is about trusting your intuition. You have the seer card. The outcome is about you not really getting what you want out of this. Somebody has their walls up, they're guarding themselves, and then the fixer card, which means that you can overcome this. Like, whatever problems that are there, it can be fixed. And I think it's going to have to be you. You're going to have to fix the issue. You're going to have to dive deep and get within yourself. The Master Card is talking about going into a higher spiritual place, a higher Christ consciousness, to actually work on the relationship, to work on the connection. You're going to have to get really spiritual. Trusting your intuition, diving deep within yourself to find the answers. Making the right decision. This person is waiting on you to make a decision. They're waiting on you to decide on how you feel about the situation. You have the two swords and the moon card. And it's reverse. This is about your emotions and diving deep within your emotions and revealing yourself. But uh, you're being asked to go really deep within yourself and make this decision. Otherwise, this relationship is stuck. But it's not over yet. It needs a lot of healing. This doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic relationship. This could be some somebody that's in your family. Because the tennis coins talks about legacies. This could be anybody, really. But this person could... Looks like they're younger. And they're grateful for having you, but something wasn't working out. And they feel like they have turned their back on you, but they still feel blessed to have you. They just need some time to heal. Yeah, there's love there. They're just, I think there was some negative stuff that happened. Negative stuff because it got the page. Page is reversed. Page of Cups. Which talks about emotions. Immature emotions, though. If someone loves you, you need to decide if you love them. You need to decide what you want to do about them with that two of swords there. If there was a problem, if there was a relationship problem or a relationship hiccup, it can be fixed. But somebody has their guard up, and I think it's you. It, because you have the two of swords. So you need to dive deep and decide, you know... How you're gonna move forward in trying to fix the issue uh, I, there's a new idea there's a new you can have some inspiration on how to get this person or to make them feel better or to fix the issue there I think you know what to do because you have the idea card the focus card and the new beginning so there's a new beginning about to start with you and another person this is somebody you a new start a rebooting of say a re, somebody's got their feelings hurt Somebody got their feelings hurt, and you can fix it. But you need to trust your intuition on how to go about. And I think you need to reveal your emotions. You can, but this is a fixable relationship. Kind of similar to what the last reading was. But this person is hurt. They got their feelings hurt. And this is somebody you really care about. And something wasn't working, but this, yeah... I think you, whatever it is, I think you need to make the first move. Make the first move um, and step out your comfort zone. 
Um, show your emotions. Let them know. And take care of the situation. And let them know how much you love them. Because there are you, you have some cups here, but they're hidden. They're at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> cups, cups, and you're overthinking stuff, you know. So if you've been away from this person for a while, I think you need to express your emotions. Let them know how you feel. And make the first move, okay? All right, Leo. That's my advice for you. Be sure to subscribe to my videos. Hit that like button. And uh, let, leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on with you guys. And make your reality happen. Because if you don't do it, then who will? Talk to you guys later. Peace out.